You're now tuned into Kofi's Universe since you're just sitting on Uranus. This is the number one YouTube channel for hip hop culture news, informed black social issues, song reaction videos, and even comedy. So be sure to like this post. And if you haven't already subscribed, do so right about now. Razzcast. YouTube salute. All right, Snoop Dogg recalls being on death row but secretly working on Warren G album at that time because Suge Knight was taking everything down. Let's talk about it. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video, hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Also, check out new album reviews from Westside Gun and Meek Mill in the album review playlist. So the executive, creative, and strategic consultant at Def Jam, aka Snoop Dogg, that's his new position, new title. He was on the Breakfast Club, and this is what he said. First of all, I'm a fan of Def Jam Records as a rapper, as a kid, as a man. I just miss the mystique of Def Jam Records and what it meant to hip hop and what it was all about. Snoop then admitted that the only label that Death Row saw as competition was Def Jam. They were like the epitome of what hip hop was supposed to be. All right, he continues, cause Charlemagne asked him about West Coast Save Def Jam and Snoop said this, thanks to Warren G, him as well, my pen has something to do with it. And intrigued, Charlemagne pressed him for more information cause he wanted to know more about the hip hop history. Like I said, my pen has something to do with it. We was trying to protect the homie from Suge Knight at the time. Suge was taking everything, so we wanted to make sure Warren G had a dope record without him being able to get it. So we silently, me and Corrupt and a few others, went to work for Warren G to make sure that his record could be what it was. There wasn't any animosity between Warren G signed to Def Jam we all wanted to be on Def Jam. You got to understand Public Enemy, Slick Rick, LL Cool J, EPMD. You know what I'm saying? You can, you can add Red Man. Method Man signed at that time. That's when he released his album. Who else was on Def Jam? I mean, you got some, 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 it was some, it was some people on Def Jam. I just can't think off the time. But those are some of the prominent um, rappers that were on Def Jam, he's talking about Public Enemy, Slick Rick, LL Cool J, EPMD, Red Man, the list goes on and on and on. So what else did he say? That was really it, what he, um, what he talked about. My thing is this, um, you, that's crazy that they had to do stuff in secret because they knew Suge Knight was going to actually try to whoop somebody ass. He probably was going to whoop their ass, then take the records. Because Suge Knight was a bully. You know, ain't no way Suge Knight was going to let, oh, yeah, go over there, Snoop. Go help your people. It's kind of like he was micromanaging everything, all of his artists. Like, he, they couldn't even go out and step out and do nothing without his permission. For real. It was, it was some control issues over there. Now, Death Row, to me, is the biggest record label in hip-hop history as far as what they produce their um their growth as far as in that time. I'm not talking about longevity. I'm talking about the time when they came out with the chronic, doggy style, murder was a case, um, soundtrack. You had Tupac All Eyes on Me, Double C D, Machiavelli, The Dog Father came out, The Dog Food. What else we had? It wasn't above the rim soundtrack on um wasn't that on death row? Correct me if I'm wrong. If it wasn't, tell me in the comment section. You also had um, The Lady of Rage, Daz Dillinger, he released the album. You know, those albums right there, platinum, 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 and they, them dropping them singles. Because Dr. Dre went four times platinum. No, no, we went three times platinum. It might be four times now. Snoop Dogg went four times platinum. Then it might be five times now. Could be Diamond. Who knows? Tupac, five times. Right out the box, Machiavelli five times. Right out the box, Dog Food went double platinum. Um, Murder was a case platinum plus. Above the rim platinum plus. Singles was always in the top five on the R and B top one hundred rap section. You couldn't could, you couldn't tell Death Row nothing. So that's why I feel like 
Suge Knight knew he had a gold mine. He had he had diamonds, and he wasn't gonna let his diamonds just go out and work with anybody. To me, I feel that's wrong because all it is is just showing the love. Like we can make Death Row bigger than what it, it was. Speaking in past tense, I don't think Suge Knight looked at that. I think he looked at it as just being like the greed. He's looking at it as, as greed, a grinch. Like no, it's my label. I'm running it my way. I've always made this same. You can burn everybody in the house with you. And a lot of people don't care about that. I felt that Suge Knight, what he did to death row, he burnt everybody with him. He, he didn't care. He felt like, you know what, if I go down on my ship, y'all going down with me. Warren G album went platinum. That album was tight as hell. You don't see what I see every day as Warren G. You got the iconic song Regulate with Nate Dog. For real, that's song right there. Then you even had the twins on there. Dove Shack came out from that album. They, they even dropped their albums like in 95. They did. Twins made the summer go round and round. Remember? Summertime in the LBC. So Warren G paid away too, being a pioneer from LBC. So Snoop Dogg helping him. He just wanted to make sure everybody was on. Snoop Dogg not only helped Warren G. Look what he did for his cousin Daz and he did for Corrupt. Bringing him out. You know, of course, Dr. Dre was, you know, helping with the production. But Daz, a lot of people don't, they underestimate Daz's production because he was doing stuff on The Chronic. He was doing stuff on Doggy Style. A lot of people don't know this. He was doing stuff for a lot of people. Albums, Tupac, Dog Food. He produced that whole album. Like, a lot of people don't understand this. So Snoop Dogg put on, he put on for um the East Siders. He even had um, the LBC crew, um, Badass. The list goes on and on and on. But like I said, though, it's just sad to see that somebody got to work in secret all because they knew um, <laughs> their, their CEO owner would have stole those records and would have kept them and been like, these are mine and so we're using them on this record label or they're going to be distributed through Death Row Interscope. Well, y'all let me know what you think about that. I never even knew that. Damn, that's crazy. They had to re record that record in private. But not just that. Corrupt, Snoop, and other artists had to secretly help Warren G. That's crazy. Post your comments below. Hulk smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon. Patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo Cash App, PayPal Streamlabs, everything's in the description. Until next time, salute. If you're looking for me to react to any song freestyle video, that's $20 per reaction. For sponsorships, that's $50 minimum. Also, hoax smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Also, if you want to become a Patreon member, patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description, y'all. Salute.